Hello and welcome back to another quick video review. I have the eCynic wireless mini keyboard in for testing today and I thought I'd just do a quick unboxing and show it to you. Now this keyboard is on Amazon for about £8. There is also a backlit version available so I'll just unbox it and show you what you get included in the pack. There's the keyboard, you also have an instruction manual and in addition to that you have an extender cable. This has the male and female connectors as well as the mini USB plug. For some reason they use mini USB on quite a few of these mini wireless keyboards. Now I generally get these for Android boxes because they're pretty handy. Most of the controllers don't have that and you, the idea being to just plug the dongle into the female port there. Now the instruction manual is a bit more detailed than you usually get for some reason. Um, I'm not complaining, most of them don't come with much information but this goes through pretty much everything you want to know about the keyboard. All of the shortcuts, the specifications, how to charge it, even though it's a very simple device it's nice that they put a bit of effort into that. The packaging is also pretty good. This lists out some of the gestures that you can use on the touchpad. Now looking at the keyboard, this uh, has the scroll on the side of the touchpad at the top as you can see the lines going across and you also have the pound sign so this is a UK layout keyboard you have shortcuts the volume and the directional pad as well as the function button which is marked in blue on the top just the power button and the mini USB port now you push open the back section and inside you will see the mini USB dongle the receiver and there's also a Nokia style it looks very much like the old Nokia batteries they must have found a large warehouse with these and that's rated at 800 milliamps an hour you'll see that there are markings for AAA batteries but this can't take them there are no contact points inside now onto the dongle itself as usual very tiny uh, 2.4 gigahertz and you just plug that in to the female uh, port on the cable if you wish you can just plug it directly into the USB port if you want now the touchpad, quite responsive, didn't have any issues with this. You'll note that the light comes on, there's an amber light that comes on when you press a key or touch the keypad just to let you know that it is registering. And the blue one lights up and then uh, goes out once you've got a connection to the dongle. Now charging this is about 2 hours, hour and 50 minutes, the red LED comes on when it's charging. You can use it when it's charging. As I said, I tend to use these for Android boxes, but not just... Um, Android boxes you can use these for computers different operating systems and you can see here on a Windows 10 laptop you can still control volume and things like that mute so it works pretty much universally uh, the only exception might be the odd television which might have a custom menu system but it works for at least some of the functions on those so overall pretty good little keyboard honestly haven't found much difference between the different ones that I've tried one thing I would say is that the range tends to be around about 7 to 8 metres. The 10 metres range is a touch on the optimistic side. So what I'll do is put the links below for you in case you are interested. And thanks very much for watching the video. I hope to see you in the next one.